Hello there, how are you? This is the November. This is Carrie Mubarak at Wooing Nature Life. Let me not slip my mind. This is Carrie Mubarak at Wooing Nature Life. I hope you are well. I hope everything is great and that you are feeling wonderful right now. If you're not, hopefully this reading will help give you some clarity and help you understand what's going on so that you can feel better. Um, this is November. This is the end or the tail end season of the um of the fall season and so i'm telling everybody that any last minute clearing cleansing um, of the body mind and, sp and spirit go ahead and finish that up um, because we're headed right into winter prepare your body prepare yourself for what you know winter brings for you if it's seasonal depression colds and flu things like that just get yourself prepared for that uh, I will be reading from Colette Baron Reed, The Wisdom of the Oracle, this month for everybody. I'll be pulling three cards. Those three cards will give us an indication of what's going on or what you need to focus on or to give you some sort of focus for the month of November. If you're interested in finding out more about what's happening with you financially, please check out the playlist, Get This Money. Um, and I'll be doing that every month as well, starting in November, starting up in November. So from November on, I will be doing that, um, that, uh, series as well. All right. So I'm getting ready to pull these three cards for you. This message is for cancer, cancer people up there. All right, so we got Between the Worlds and Co-Create, followed by the Fates, Between the Worlds, in reverse, Co-Create, also in reverse, and the Fates, which is upright. So according to Colette Baron reed when we get messages that come in in reverse, she wants us to read the protection message, and that protection message um, is the only thing that, that's read. Okay. All right, so this is number three. The very first card of this number three between the worlds. The protection message is be mindful of your expectations. It's not a time for guarantees. Things will not go exactly as you plan or dictate, so let go and see what spirit has in store. What takes hold in your life will be better than you can imagine. So it's like trusting spirit, trusting um, the universe to bring to you what it is that you need, not just what you want, okay? Because you can put it out there and people say, you know, ask not, hey, have not because you ask not. You do need to ask for what it is that you want and, um, and expect it as well, but also expect something better because we don't know or have all of the answers for ourselves. We, many of our answers live within, but you know, you have to make room for spirit to give you a little bit more. So it looks like spirit is trying to give you a little bit more. So if you feel like you're between jobs, between lives, between spaces, between places, or just you're feeling like, you know, one half of you wants to go in one direction and one half of you wants to go in another um, direction, then it's time to center, it's time to balance, and it's also time to just relax your expectations so that spirit can pick up and move forward and move you forward okay the next card is number 40 and again we're reading the protection message for card number 40 um, and that card is co-create you're trying too hard to create all that you desire again we're talking about desires wants and and what your expectations are but without nurturing the vital force of spirit perhaps you are in a creative slump suffering writer's block or facing a monumental task but unable to decide on your first step so you just avoid doing anything does the word overwhelmed apply to you right now why do you think it's all come down to you inspiration means drawing in of the divine guidance you must tap into spirit simply not simply yourself so you really got to go to spirit here because you are co-creating with spirit so you can't be on your own mission and leave god out and leave the spirit out ask spirit for inspiration two minds are greater than one so co-create with your divine partner reclaim your partnership with spirit inspiration will flow through you as soon as you get out of your own way and you get out of the way of spirit too 
it's a joint effort here. It's not just you, you, you by yourself. I think we've gotten ourselves locked into that mindset where we think that we have to do it all or we are the all or it's all or nothing. One or the other or all three. But there is a symbiotic relationship happening in the spirit realm. It is a symbiotic relationship happening within yourself. And then there's symbiotic relationships happening where spirit is sending you certain people for you to connect and to create with. So it's it's all one big happy family here. Don't exclude anybody and don't shove anybody out because you're trying to have a one man or one woman show or one person show or what have you. It's, it's, it's not about that, you know. Life is not black and white. It's a blending of the two. It's black and white and a blending of the two. Okay, so you just, you gotta, you know, don't just be so hell-bent on one thing. And then you miss the point of the whole process. Because it's the process that really counts. Alright, the last card is the Fates. This one is upright, so it talks about fate, karma, and accepting the things that you cannot change and knowing what those things are. And we know what the serenity prayer is. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. That's really all you need to know. There are things in life that you will never have control over. There are conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective by nature and by your past experience. They may be fated, preordained by spirit for a greater purpose, and you can't understand it in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain things have occurred, um, but you can accept the mystery and work with those events and your current circumstances are there to teach you. So just remember that. If you're talking about relationships, it says other people are who they are. Don't change them. Then the prosperity message, it says your experiences concerning prosperity and abundance are beyond your personal control. Um, what you do being invited to do is to accept what is unreservedly. This could be a temporary situation seemingly thrust upon you from the outside forces, but there is an underlying purpose you can't see that has been determined by your fate. Um, so this is really um, cancer about letting go and allowing the spirit to move you in the way that it needs to move you in your life. And November seems to be that time for that. All right, I didn't even get started talking about the tarot and it started popping out. So we're um, going to read from the tarot just straight through one message after another. Uh, just tell the story, please. A lot of fire here, cap, uh, Cancer. A lot of fire energy. I got three Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands, and the Six of Wands. So it's a lot of fire energy in your water, in your water world. So I don't know if you're boiling or just warm is this warm tea or are you bubbling over but it's a lot of fire energy the prince of wands here is is a learning phase you're learning about leadership you're learning to step up you're learning to have your own territory and to understand your own own domain but it's a part of like really understanding this too your fate and your destiny go along with that your creating with the creator goes along with that so if you are between worlds right now it's because there's some messages that you're missing in relationship to that it's a it's a it's a, it's a bigger picture that you have to see cancer we also have the Princess of Wands in reverse as well. Princess of Wands is like you being on top of your game and also being able to tackle what's coming at you or what seems to be stirring up and around you. I see you climbing the great heights. I really do. And I see you finding your star power and really finding your own unique way of um, expressing yourself too. Finding your own inner power and, le and learning how to express it. But you're still in the learning phase of that. That's why it's coming in in reverse. And also that's why you got the prince here. So there's messages here um, about you getting on top of your game. I don't know. getting Finding your space in the world. And being on top of things, being in a good space, it's really, really important for you. Six of Wands is also in reverse. A lot of fire in reverse. I'm thinking maybe you might be tamping it or maybe situations that you're in or uh, you're not really sure if you can like break all of that out at once. And it may not be quite time for it. So just, you know, be patient with it. And when you're feeling it, recognize it. 
give thanks for it and hope you get some more. You know what I'm saying? Get some more energy when you need it. Um, but again, I see, I see that there's victory in the cards, but it's just being able to um, find your space in that or find your place in it. It's like you have to find your place in it. I see you worrying, stressing, bothering yourself about it. That lot of things on your mind, trying to figure everything out. You can't figure everything out. That's what this fate is all about. That's what you release into spirit is about. If you're feeling that way, if you're feeling like you're encumbered with thoughts or whatever, it's time to release the spirit and allow your fate to shine through. That's what it's there for. Four of Cups in reverse. Getting over some disappointment, forgiveness, moving on. N not um, keeping that one thing that you... So, you know, when you win some and you lose some, right? And then sometimes when we lose some, we, we think about that, we dwell on that, the thing that we lost, the, the one thing that we lost, and then we don't focus on all the things that were gained. So Cancer, make sure you take some time to um, for gratitude, for being thankful for what was what in the process of losing what you gained. That's a good assessment. And again, this is the time for assessment. So get that in where you can. I'm seeing that same thing in this Five of Cups where things were lost, things were going to have uh, spilt milk. It's like, don't cry over spilt milk. Concentrate on what you did get. What did you gain? What have you gained? And that can push you forward. And then I've got the Ace of Wands here. So again, lots of fire in this, lots of fire energy. Um, get around your fire sign people, Aries, Sagittarius, Leos, um, and see how they get down and maybe apply some of those, um, those things to you. Princess of Pentacles is in reverse too. Yeah, you just got to see your light. You have to see your, you have to see your light and you have to see um, what you're walking with and what you're rolling with and you also have to see how the energy is at work around you not just in you it's not a selfish effort that you're making it is about yourself it is about edifying yourself but it's not a selfish effort there's how do i how do i explain this the journey that we on is about edifying ourselves right but we're not in it alone there are other people, other resources, other other lots of other things around us that are there with us through the process. We're not in it alone. That's what I'm trying to say. More fire. I don't need another fire card. Two and two of wands this time. Dualities and you know trying to get through this process. Really, you're trying to get to the other side of the process, and and you're seeing it as. Uh, a separation of sorts like you see yourself here trying to get there right you're already there you're already there you're already there you're already you and you're already functioning and you're already doing what you do best you're already there you know the perception is that there's a separation between you and what you want or you and what you desire that's just a perception. What you want and what you desire, you already have because you created it. You co-created it. You co-created it. So what you're living, how you're living, the way you're living was your creation. It was you and the creator working together to get this reality that you're living in or to have this experience that you're having. So if you want something different, right, you can always ask, but you always, too, have to remember that some of this is faded and some of this is beyond your control. Some things are just beyond your control. That which is beyond your control, you release that to spirit and know that spirit knows best and you accept that. To basically what it's all about are there any other messages for cancer for the month of november any other messages for cancer for the month of november any other messages for cancer for the month of november i've got two here um i've got the devil in the hierophant so yeah i mean this is like 
I always say you got to put the devil down in a hole like Treme, that song from that uh, television series, Treme, you got to put the devil down in a hole. And the best way to do that is to get into your, uh, get the lesson, like learn the lesson. And to me, the lesson for you, Cancer, for the month of November is about releasing and letting go for spirit, get, letting spirit have its way. And see, when you let spirit in, then where is this guy going to go? He's got to go. So if you want to chase that energy, that bondage energy, that energy that tells you you can't do this, you can't do that, and this went wrong, and oh, woe is me, and I'm sad, depressed, and got my mind all bent up. If you want to get rid of that, then go in and, and deal with the lesson at hand, which to me is about acceptance. That's the biggest lesson. It's about acceptance. Acceptance, acceptance, particularly if if it's not something that we want like if you're facing something and you're, you're not happy about the outcome it's hard to accept it um, but acceptance sometimes that's where the healing lives is in accepting things exactly as the way they are and um, and seeing it as divine seeing it within the context of your divine purpose okay if you want to know more about your divine purpose you can reach out to me at wooingnature.life carrie k-e-r-r-i at wooingnature.life i'm glad to give you a personal reading if you need a personal reading um also make sure you check out the new moon and the full moon view um that's about you connecting to the sky spirits being able to connect to the cycles of the moon it's not just for women it's for men and women both because you need to be able to connect to your divine feminine so you can connect to the divine mother and connecting to the divine mother which is associated with the divine earth will allow you to be on this earth and live in this planet harmoniously and in a balanced sort of way so check that out too if you want to know about your money check out the playlist get this money i'll be doing that for the elements starting in november but i'll be doing it every month so if you want to know about the money and what's going on with your money check out get this money too all right uh you can find me on patreon instagram you can find me on facebook at wooing nature w-o-o-i-n-g-n-a-t-u-r-e and as always i hope you have a great november and you're having a wonderful life